I wanted to have my own web series, so here it is. Other people like to relax, lying around on their backs, doing nothing peacefully. Not me, not me. I'll relax when I'm dead. For now, I must keep writing instead. No time to waste, so much to say. my bed. I'll relax when I'm dead. Hello, my name is Seth and I'm a workaholic. I work most of the day while I'm awake, even while doing other things, and I even write during my sleep. For instance, the night I was writing this episode, I woke up and scrawled, must sing, a dream is the work your brain makes. I sleep eight and a half hours a night, usually from 3.30 a.m. to noon, which makes me completely night shifted. I'm kind of like a vampire without that whole sucking blood thing. When I do have to be up before noon, I freak out and wake up all through the night worried that I have slept through my alarm, which only makes me more tired when I do get up. Thus, before noon, I become the walking dead. I never procrastinate, except when it's time to do my laundry. When I went to NYU, I handed my master's thesis of 75 pages in two weeks early, even though most of my classmates asked for extensions. I work late, late hours into the night like Don Draper. I multitask constantly. I need a lot of stimuli at once. I like background noise from the TV or the iTunes. I like to chat with a dozen people at once while I take breaks to play chess and Scrabble on the Facebook. And if not enough people are talking with me, I'll sometimes even put the TV on while I listen to music. Incidentally, I decided in January 2010 it would be a good project to listen to my 1746 albums in alphabetical order, and I just got to the J's the other day. Yes, Jack Burrell is alive and well. I use a multi-client IM program so that I can be on AOL, Gtalk, MSN, and the Facebook IM simultaneously to be more efficient, and I have an intricate buddy ranking system. I keep my close friends near the top and when I first meet someone I have some sample conversations and if they're pretty good they get bumped up and if they're kind of boring they get bumped down and if I don't talk to someone they get bumped down even more and eventually kicked off. It's like buddyless survivor. Other people take a vacation to enrich their relaxation. I become more inspired since I'm rarely tired. I'll relax when I'm dead. For now, I must keep writing instead. No time to waste. So much to say. Ignoring fatigue. Avoiding cliche. Who needs my bed? I'll relax when I'm dead. You know, I love New York, but sometimes it is such a wicked little town got your performing gig if you're lucky, you've got your day job to make money, and then you've got your other performing gigs that don't pay but they just take up a lot of time. So I had this three show day coming up in two different venues and the night before I came down with the stomach flu because I was so exhausted from having performed the entire week. I'm gonna get through it, I'm gonna get through my three shows, and then I get this urgent message that I have to be at work at 8 a.m. the next morning on a Saturday. I work in a restaurant. I'm not doing inventory. Like, what could be so important? So I go to this meeting at 8 in the morning, and they say, we've got some new additions to the menu, so we all need you to try out some hamburgers today. It's 8 o'clock in the morning. I don't want a hamburger. Oh, and just to be clear, we sell, like, $20 hamburgers. I don't work at McDonald's. Okay. But anyway, I have a call for a show at 9.30 in the morning, so I gotta get out of here! So I take a cab across town, and I star in this children's show. I go on as the starring role, which I hadn't done in months, and I had no rehearsal for it, and I had a friend in the audience, and I'm hopped up on a modium, you know, because I have the stomach flu and I'm puking. But I get through that show, and I feel like I've been hit by a truck, because that's what children's theater does to you. And I go across town, and I now put on a corset to do this other matinee for a musical. Do you know what it's like to wear a corset when you have the stomach flu? Oh, you don't? Okay, good. You don't want to know. It's no fun. 
but I do the show because I'm a pro. And then we have a break before the night performance and I need to sleep because I just can't do it anymore. And I lay down in the middle of the hallway in the Y. There's no green room, there's no couch, it's just a cold, bare hallway. I'm in costume and makeup and I sleep. I probably would have been more comfortable on a mattress with a pee under it, but nevertheless, I was that exhausted. And then somebody wakes me up and they say, it's time to do another show. And I just, I get up and I do another show and I don't even know where I am, but I guess it happens. And then the next day, a repeat of that day. And then I go home and I crash in my clothes at 8 p.m. and I sleep for 14 beautiful hours and I figure, I'm not gonna miss anything. You know what happened that night? They found and killed Osama bin Laden. Yeah, no big deal, just like a turning point in American history. I found out on Facebook the next day. Yeah, that's right. So after all that, I've had another really long week and it is time for me to turn in. I don't know what I'm gonna miss this time. I mean, the rapture might actually happen, uh, but if it doesn't while I'm sleeping, then I guess I will see you next time. But for now, Sweet dreams. It's important to keep writing. Who can know what show will set you on your roll? Being prolific is the key to success. Try the free open path to optimize and realize your goal. With most others, breaks will abound as they all gag around. Procrastinating, hating work. To them I say, I went to the Ultimate Workaholic University, MIT, where we used to stay up till 6 a.m. to watch the sunrise on the little dome on top of Building 10. Yes, everything at MIT was numbered. The majors, the classes, the buildings, the rooms, even the elevators had numbers. And of course, the students. My number was 24601. Not really. Since it cost $120,000 to go to MIT, I thought I should get two majors. First, I majored in the practical course 6-3, Computer Science and Engineering, and then to appease my artistic side, I got a second major in 21M, Music Composition. To get through my course 6 classes, I used to take charge at all our hall homework sessions, and I would divvy up the problem set, always leaving the easiest problems for myself. And to get through the tests, I used my photographic memory, and also there was always a steep curve. I remember one 801 freshman physics test that I got a 16% on, and that turned out to be a B minus. <laughs> That's a harder test than when Jesse's piano needed all those caffeine pills. <laughs> all nighters were frequent, and one such night we were in the computer lab putting the finishing touches on our 6170 software engineering lab final project worth two thirds of our grade. We had to design a pinball machine from scratch in Java in teams of three. I partnered with one of my friends and his frat brother, and let's just say the term frat brother was indicative of his work ethic. It was kind of like an American Pie movie. Not being one for coding, it's not one of my strongest suits. I did a lot of the grunge work, the copy pasting. I designed the entire color scheme and I did most of the 60 page write up. But the night before we were in the cluster trying to make the project suck a little less. Yes, sometimes sucking less can be a good thing. Technically, Java is an object oriented programming language. So every object in your program has its own program file. And the program file is where you code everything with you know, the parentheses and the semicolons and the colons or whatever. And then when you're done programming it, you have to run it through a Java compiler before you can run the program. So if your program file has no bugs and no question marks out of place or whatever, it gets through the compiler and comes out the other side as a compile file. So then you use the compile files to run your program. So you run your program and you decide, oh, I'd like to change X, Y, and Z. You go back to the program files and you recode it and then you recompile it but before you can recompile it you have to delete your old compile files so there's room so you're spending a lot of time deleting your old compiled files however I was really tired and it was really late at night and accidentally I once deleted the program files thereby deleting our entire project the night before it was due <laughs>
It took a couple hours to retrieve the files from the servers and then recode anything that hadn't been saved, but the project did turn out fine. However, I think my partners were a little mad at me. Uh, there were no fist fights because we were nerds after all, but I suspect if there were paintballs involved, I would have been as drenched in paint as Dean Pelton in the season two finale of Community. I'll relax when I'm dead for now. Today's moral is there are perks to not relaxing and staying up all night getting things done, like having your own web series, but it would be nice to occasionally go out and relax. Unfortunately, I have massive subway paranoia, which is next week's topic. See you then on Every Day A Little Seth. I wanted to have my own web series and